In today's video, you will learn 5 ways to repair a corrupted SD card or USB drive. If you have an SD card that is corrupted or damaged, then you don't have to worry as in this video, I'm going to show you 5 different ways to fix it. So with that said, let's get started. As you can see, here I have a corrupted SD card. Whenever I connect it to my computer, it shows up like this. And when I double click on it, it asks me to format it. See? And even when I try to format this SD card, it won't even format. See, I get this error message. So let's start repairing this SD card with our first method. Our first method is using File Explorer to repair a corrupted SD card. First of all, click on this Windows logo. Then search for File Explorer, which will again bring you to this page. Now right click on your SD card. Then select Properties. Next. From these options, click on Tools tab, then click on Check, click on Yes. Again, it's asking me to format the drive. As you can see, in your case, if something different happens, just follow along the on-screen instructions. Alright, now let me show you the second method. Our second method is updating SD card drivers. There are two ways to update SD card drivers. The first option is using Device Manager. So from your keyboard. Press and hold Windows key and X together, then you will see these options and from these options, select Device Manager, next, double click on Portable Devices, select your SD card, right click on it, then click on Update Driver, select the first option, if there is an update available, just install it. And the second option is using a third party software to update your SD card drivers. In this video, I am going to use the software called it says Clean Genius. This is a 100% free software. You just install the software into your computer. After installation, open it up. Basically, this software is used to clean up your PC. But with this software, you can also update your SD card drivers. To do that, click on Optimization. And at the very last, there you will see an option called Driver Handy. You just click on Start. Then click on Scan which will scan your computer's driver. If there's any update available, it will tell you. So as you can see, I have one driver that requires updating. So just click on download and update your driver. And after that, unplug your SD card and plug it back in and see if your problem is fixed or not. Okay, now let me show you the third method. Okay, our third method is using check disk. First of all, click on start and type CMD. Then right click on command prompt and run it as administrator. Once CMD is opened, now type CHKDSK, which is short form of check disk. Then space. Next type drive letter of your SD card. So in my case, my SD card is located in L drive. So type L in capital letter, then colon. Next hit space, then forward slash, and type F. F here means fix. Now just hit enter. After running these commands, your SD card should be fixed. So as you can see, here's my SD card, which is empty. Our fourth method is changing the drive letter of your SD card. To do that, first of all, from your keyboard, press and hold Windows button and X button. Then from these options, select Disk Management. Once it's opened, locate your SD card. In my case, it's G. Right click on it. Then select Change Drive Letter and Paths. Then click on Change. And from these options, select the letter that is already not in use. So in my case, I'm gonna select H. After that, click OK. Click Yes. And now, my SD card's drive letter is H. So let's see. Let's try to format once again. Nope. This method didn't work for me. As you can see, I got this error message. Our fifth and last method is using CMD to fix a corrupted SD card. Basically, in this method, we are going to format the corrupted SD card in order to fix it. Alright, first of all, click on Start. 
and type CMD which is short form of comment prompt. Now right click on comment prompt and run it as administrator. Once comment prompt is opened, type this part T I S K P A R T and hit enter. Make sure there is no space between disk and part. Okay, next type list disk, list space disk and hit enter, which will show all the disks of your computer. So in my case, there are two. One is my computer's own hard drive and the other one is my SD card. Okay, now you have to select your SD card. To do that, just type select disk followed by your disk number. In my case, it's disk one. Make sure to select the correct disk number. If you select the wrong one, then the following commands will format that selected disk. So be very careful. Okay, after that hit enter. Next type clean. Again hit enter. Next type create partition primary. After every comment, just hit enter. Next type active. The next command is select partition followed by your partition number. In my case, it's number one. Then hit enter. Okay, now we are going to format the SD card. To do that, just type format space FS. FS means file system. Then equal sign. Then type FAT32 and then hit enter. After that, these commands will start formatting your SD card. Now, all you have to do is wait for this percentage to complete. This will take a lot of time like hours. So be patient. Okay, after a long wait, it came back to 0% and also it gave me an error. In your case, if it was successful, then you will see something like this. Just like the one you are seeing on your screen. Okay, if this method didn't work for you, then there is another way to format a corrupted SD card and that is by using a software. Okay, in this video, I am going to use the software called ESUS Partition Master. I am going to use the software because this is the one that actually worked for me. So go ahead download and install the software into your windows or mac computer and after downloading open it up i will leave the link in the description below once the software is open click on partition manager and select your sd card whichever it is so in my case my sd card is g so let's confirm it as you can see my sd card is on g drive so select it and click on format now give your SD card a name and from these options select whichever you want. So in my case I am going to format my SD card on FAT32. After that click OK. Click Yes. Then click on this Execute button. Click Apply. And now wait for the software to format the corrupted SD card. While this process is taking place, would you please like this video and share it with your friends. For you, like and share is just a matter of clicks, but for me, it means a lot. So thank you so much if you do. Okay, once the formatting process is completed, you will see this green check mark. So let's see. Yes, as you can see, the software was successful on formatting my corrupted SD card. And now I can use my SD card normally. Okay, so that was my five ways to repair a corrupted SD card. If you already tried all those methods and none of them work for you, then your last option is to rescue your imported data from your corrupted SD card. And in this video, I'm going to show you a free way to recover data from your corrupted SD card. And now let me show you how this method works. Okay, in order to rescue your important data from your corrupted SD card, you need a data recovery software. In this video, I'm going to use the software called for Drake Windows Data Recovery. This software allows you to recover up to 2 GB files for free. So just click on free download, link will be given in the video description below. So just install the software into your computer and after installation open it up. Once open, select your SD card. Next, select the type of files that you want to rescue from your corrupted SD card. So in my case, I'm going to select only photos. You can select whichever option you want then click on this blue button and wait for the software to recover data from your corrupted SD card. As you can see this software has found a lot of photos from my corrupted SD card. 
You can also preview your picture by clicking on this button. Ok, in order to save your pictures to your computer, just select them and click on recover. And from this drop down menu, select your location. So in my case, I'm gonna save my pictures on my desktop. After that, click on save now. Sometimes what happens is, after the recovery, some of your files get corrupted. In that case, you can click on recover and repair. So in my case, I'm gonna click on recover only. I've already reached my limitation. After that, your selected folders will be open by itself. So as you can see, these are the pictures that I was able to rescue from my corrupted SD card. I have selected only four photos just to show you, but you can select more if you want. So there you have it guys, that is my video on how to repair a corrupted SD card. Please let me know which one of these options were helpful to you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, I would love to hear them. And also, if this video was helpful to you by any means, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You are one like and share means a world to me, so thank you so much if you do. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then please subscribe to my channel and I will catch you in the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe. Bye.